Ram prices have been absolutely bonkers for the last year, and it looks like we still have months to go before they cool down. Fortunately, in the meantime, you can simply go to downloadmoreram.com and install as much as you need, all without spending a... Okay. Most of you probably saw that coming, but researching how to increase your RAM actually does bring up a lot of bullcrap advice from guys like this, who tell you to clean your fans with baking flour and then laugh at you when it blows up in your face. <coughs> so today's video is all about cutting through the nonsense with a red hot knife of real world pro tips to help you get the right memory upgrade for less moolah. Origin PC offers beautiful custom desktops, high performance laptops, and lifetime 24 seven tech support. They only use high quality products like Samsung's 960 Pro M.2 SSDs, and you can visit Origin PC today at the link below for a limited time deal. If you Google double your RAM for free, the most common solutions you'll find are to open up Windows's advanced performance options and increase what's called virtual memory. Now, RAM is accessed in pages or chunks of memory that are read and written as a whole. So the theory here is that because many of these pages don't change for long periods of time, or even at all, once the operating system is finished loading, they can be moved off of your super fast RAM and then onto your way, way slower virtual memory that's stored on your SSD, freeing your RAM up to kick ass and to bubble gum. The problem is that you're not actually increasing your system's physical memory. You're just allocating more of the storage, so that SSD or even a hard drive, to act like memory. This is designed to prevent programs from crashing due to low memory errors. But these devices are far too slow to be an actual solution. And your computer should be set to manage these settings automatically anyway. We recommend leaving them alone. Another trick is memory compression, which takes those infrequently called pages and spends some CPU resources on shrinking them down like a zip file so that they don't occupy as much RAM. This is actually how old software like RAM Doubler worked. So the good news here is that it's not BS, and if you're using a recent PC or Mac, then your computer already does it automatically, and the bad news is that other than running a hypervisor like VMware's ESXi and then a virtualized OS under it, third-party apps that do this are no longer available if you're a, a Windows 7 holdout, for example. The next common tip is to use a RAM cleaner program. These work by placing a heavy demand on the RAM, prompting the system to push existing memory pages to virtual memory and to discard inactive ones. But, number one, if you happen to relaunch a program that was previously cached but inactive, you're gonna have to wait for it to completely load again. And two, a lot of the pages are just going to move back to physical memory once you call on them anyway. You'd be better off to do some good old fashioned housekeeping. Take a look at the programs that are set to launch on startup on your system and make sure that there are no memory hungry apps that you barely ever use choking your supply. Finally, you might come across suggestions that you overclock your RAM. Look, take it from me. This is generally not worth it. Yes, you can make the RAM that you have marginally faster, but you're opening yourself up to troubleshooting hell if your memory isn't 100% stable. And you're not actually really fixing the bottleneck, which is the slow loading of data from your main system storage into the RAM. Leading us finally to the surefire one tech tip to rule them all solution for increasing your RAM. I hate to do this to you guys, but remember last time when the way to double your internet speed, this method really works was to pay for faster internet? Bonded internet is faster, but it is not free. Mm, well, the solution here is to just buy more RAM. B but wait, hold on. This video wasn't totally pointless. We can help you save a few bucks. Tip number one is to buy used RAM. If secondhand makes you nervous, remember 
that many memory manufacturers offer limited lifetime warranties, meaning that if you buy on eBay and it doesn't work, and for whatever reason, eBay and PayPal's own protection mechanisms fail you, you may still be able to get it replaced for free, except for maybe the return shipping cost. And, and you're probably thinking, well, hold on, don't you have to be the original purchaser? Actually, the answer is that depends. Not every company includes that stipulation in their warranty policy, and even some of the ones we do, like Kingston and Corsair, confirmed when we reached out to them that they often waive this requirement, along with the one for proof of purchase, in favor of providing better customer service. So as long as your DIM still has the genuine serial number stickers on it, there's a good chance you could get it replaced. And why stop at desktop RAM? Small outline or SO dims from an old laptop can be repurposed using inexpensive adapters like the ones we used in this video. One word of caution though, when you're buying used is to look out for system specific RAM. This is RAM that if you look up the part number you'll find is guaranteed to work with one or usually a small handful of specific systems. It usually costs more anyway because it's got this extra stage of validation, but if you do find a good deal on it, just beware. There's a chance it'll work, but it's also possible that it won't be stable or straight up won't work in a system that it wasn't designed for. As for those of you who insist on buying new, it's trickier to come up with tips for you. We had kind of hoped that historical data might reveal a time of the year when RAM is cheaper or some kind of consistent pattern in how the launch of a new technology like the upcoming DDR5 might affect the price of the existing technology. But the launch of DDR4 did not spur a mass liquidation of DDR3 stock because the chipsets and CPUs that accompanied DDR4 didn't bring enough of a performance jump to compel the average mainstream user to upgrade to the new platform. So if you were itching for a memory upgrade at the end of 2014, you may actually have been better off to just go for it rather than wait around for prices to fall. And this is something that may happen again with DDR5, which is slated for release sometime in the next couple of years. So the unfortunate reality is that there are many forces at play that influence the price of commodity desktop memory modules including surging demand for low power DRAM for smartphones, depressed yields due to manufacturers recently switching their process nodes to use smaller lithography, or even just plain old bad luck. So ultimately you're left with two options, playing the market, monitoring DRAM exchange and snapping up bushels of sticks the moment the price dips, then flipping them when it goes up, or just bucking up and buying the RAM you need when you need it. FreshBooks is the small business accounting software for freelancers and small business owners. It allows you to be more productive, more organized, and perhaps most importantly, get paid faster. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks. You can see when your client has seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games. And you can take the whole experience with you on the go, allowing you to track your hours and your expenses in their iOS and Android apps. Don't take my word for it. Try it out for free for 30 days over at freshbooks.com slash tech tips. Just remember to enter tech tips in the how did you hear about us section. Actually, Linus Tech Tips, but whatever. I'm sure they'll get the point. So thanks for watching, guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, hit that like button, or check out the link to where to buy the stuff we featured. I guess it'll just be RAM in the video description. Also linked down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join.